friends of YouTube. Today, I think I've officially become a YouTuber. <laughs> okay, never in my life did I think I was gonna be a YouTuber. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to accept it. I started this channel like seven months ago and I expected maybe 100 views. I was just trying to answer commonly asked questions from my Instagram and it has turned into this. So I'm here now, I think I have like 38,000 of you guys uh, like watching my life unfold so I'm gonna just say I think I think it's I think it's happening I think I'm I'm going down this path today I think has made it official because I have gotten my first brand collaboration I'm very excited because I've actually since starting my channel I've gotten reached out to by a bunch of different brands and I actually just have been turning them down because I haven't quite felt like it would have been authentic to work with them because they didn't quite align with products that I actually use or things that I actually care about or feel like my subscribers care about. So my first brand collaboration is Skillshare. And if you know what Skillshare is, you know that it is completely down my alley. Up my alley? Down my alley? In an alley? It's completely in an alley. Skillshare is an online learning platform. They offer over 25,000 classes, just even my opening page. Is suggestions for me and it's it's kind of hilarious the first couple suggestions are paper making sandal making how to film video which I need because this is completely new to me and I'm still learning <laughs> it's actually really funny because it's kind of the ideal partnership because if you're watching my videos it's the perfect place to go extrapolate on things that I talk about the premium membership gives you like unlimited access to all of the classes and so if you just want to try it out, the first 500 of you guys who click on the link in my bio get a two month free membership. And then after that, the annual membership is like $10 a month. This video, I'm going to be talking about uh, how I make money selling clothes online. So without further ado, I'm going to get started on how a typical me getting ready to post things online goes. Cool. So I've got my stool set up here and I've got my phone on a tripod, and this is how I take photos. Once I move this mirror, it's just a blank white wall. It looks really nice and clean and polished, and there's nothing detracting from the clothing. I use my phone to shoot the photos. This tripod that I have, I think it's called Blitzwolf uh, brand. I don't know, here, you can look at it. Come on, focus. It's a selfie stick slash tripod slash, um, it's got a little Bluetooth clicker, and so when I turn that on, I can just, snap the photos, I'll hide this in my hand a little bit. That's how I take the photos. So you'll get like a little bit of a gist of how things get shot. So I set up the tripod and then I stand here and I try to see the shot. So the shot is, I have my camera just turned so that I can see what it looks like. Right now I'm filming so it's a long rectangle but usually I shoot in square mode. I'll probably just film this whole thing. I'll just take screenshots of the videos to post on Depop but normally I'll shoot in square mode and I will use my clicker usually to take the photos. So let me get started. Okay one quick tip. I'll have about three little things that I actually have of my own closet. One is the tank top you just saw me wearing really easy to pair with any kind of bottoms. Um, another is like a denim skirt, easy to pair with, you know, something more casual like this crop top. And then these kind of more, they're a little bit more chic looking. So I'll pair the, these with like anything that I kind of want to dress up. But those are kind of the main things that I use to pair most of my, my clothing with. Okay, so here's the first outfit. Super simple, kind of leaves this open for interpretation for whoever's buying it. Give them a bunch of different angles so they can see how the shirt lays. I have recently been liking doing a little bit of movement shots. So I'll, when I have my clicker, I'll kind of click and move. So you get like a little bit of like a blurry hand kind of thing and it looks a little bit more lived in and fun. If it's something that has like a logo on it or something like that, I usually do kind of a closer shot. I'll go like, like that.
Uh, that's that's it. I just switch in and out of outfits really quick, do a couple poses in each one, and then just breeze through my whole container or whatever. And then I set them all on the couch over there because they're not quite done yet. I favor them, delete the rest, and then I'll go into Visco and I'll do a little bit of editing just to get like colors and things nicer. I add a little bit of film green just because I like that kind of a little bit more like vintagey look. And then I go through and I post them all. And that part is the part where I have to go through this stack that I'm now done with and I grab each thing and as I'm posting it, I take all of its measurements. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you how I measure everything. Oh, by the way, it's definitely a new day. I got too lazy to, to film anymore that day. This I usually do while I'm making the listing. So as I'm going through the app, I'll be writing, I'll go through the, through the little boxes that you have to fill out on the app. And in the description portion, I'll put a slight description of what it is. Usually it's like, oh, this is a Etto Face Studios jacket, never worn. I usually include like if it's never been worn and it has the tag I'll put a little picture of the price tag and what it originally cost and then the next thing that I write is usually the measurements like this says small but again that's kind of a little vague for some people just because smalls tend to come in a variety of different sizes so I will pull out my little cloth tape measure and then the measurements that I usually do for tops are across the shoulders so I'll go from the shoulder seam on the arm across to the other shoulder seam and then length so I, I usually measure from the bottom to the collar and that is 28 inches it's just kind of a general gauge so people can kind of you know hold up a tape measure to themselves and see okay so if I wear this coat it'll come down to here on me or you know that kind of thing it provides a little bit more insight into what the clothing is going to actually be like on the person who buys it one more thing I would say to do is in the description, you can hashtag and I would just, if you're posting and say like this white jacket, I would hashtag jacket, hashtag white, hashtag blazer, hashtag new, and I would hashtag, you know, the style of clothing it is, whether it's grungy or upscale or chic or whatever, um, hashtag all of those things because that's going to, when people are searching for the kind of clothes they're going to buy on Depop, that will bring your listing up in those searches. Also, when you're posting clothing, make sure to post it to all your social media pages because every new little traffic source is gonna bring somebody in, whether it's your friends or your family. They'll click on the link, they'll go through, they'll be like, oh, I love that jacket. And then, you know, then they'll buy it and that's another sale. So now you've got your whole listing done. Great, it's out there, it's on your Depop page or whatever you're selling on. From there out, you just kind of wait, promote it a little bit, post links, share it, whatever, and Forget about it. Just forget about it for a while. This is why I like this so much is it takes a day of work, you know, like get everything to take photos of, edited, posted, you know, measured, all of that. One day of like just working, getting it done and then leave it in your closet and forget about it. And whether you make one sale a week, great. Easy though. It's like it's sitting in your closet and it's going to make you money kind of consistently, which is nice. It's an extra source of income that you don't need to think about too hard. Next, what happens is you get a sale and the Depop is going to show you, congrats, you sold something and it'll probably email you and say, here's your shipping label. So you'll click on the shipping label link and then you just print the shipping label. And then I'm going to show you what I do to package my things so that I don't have to go out and buy boxes. I don't have to, I don't have to spend any more money shipping. I like this method because it's we're using things that I already have. So I'm gonna just do a mock run of how I package things. I grab a paper bag from the grocery store. Normally I <laughs> I go grocery shopping with reusable bags, but since starting Depop, I always make sure to ask for paper bags so that I can take them home and I can use them for shipping. I cut open the bag so that it's flat. Lay it down flat like this. I will grab my jeans that I'm selling and then I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna roll them up. I usually roll all the clothes that I ship just because it makes them pack down smaller and it's easier to get them packed up in the paper bag. So I got a neat little roll. Take a little bit of packing tape. Close 
Oh, or I do this anyway because I think it looks nicer. But when you have a paper bag, I always put any writing that's on it on the inside. Just so that when it's done being packaged, it looks like a little parcel. Normally I use more tape than this just because then it's nice and close and secure, but for this it's just a trial run. So um, I'm using minimal tape, but I would recommend making sure that it's packaged to a nice and tight. is my shipping label. It's about this size usually when it prints out. And then I will just stick it on the package, tape it down, make sure it's nice and flat. I usually tape all of the corners just so that nothing gets ripped off. And then I'll go to the post office. I'll just, you don't even have to wait in line. You just go in there, set it on the counter, and then ship it off for you. And that's literally it. I think it's really cute to get these little brown packages in the mail. I've never had a problem shipping it in a grocery bag. No one has ever complained. So I think it's getting there in one piece. That is all I do. That is how my Depop selling online works. And I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Have a good day. Get started on that side hustle. <laughs> all right. Goodbye, guys.